that draws attention to people who have been killed or hurt while riding bikes on public streets is going to be a little different this year because of just how bad the roads are. Fox 47's Ann Perrette tells us why the Ride of Silence has a new route. Pothole after pothole after pothole creates a dangerous ride for bikers. These things don't have shocks. <laughs> Yvonne Lefebvre has participated in the Ride of Silence for the past four years after she lost a friend in an accident. She leads the pack with a white bike on top of hers. It raises awareness of something that folks need to know, both riders and drivers, you know, that there are there are some risks here and the more we can be aware of each other, the, the less risk there is. One of the causes of those risks, she says the uneven roads. So this year, Lefebvre helped organizers plan a route around the section of Michigan Avenue causing a safety hazard. There would be too much weaving in and out and trying not to hit potholes. So we had to route around there so that we didn't hurt get anyone hurt. I mean, we're all about safety, right? <laughs> yeah. State police say the number of bicyclist deaths has risen 57% in the past year with 21 in 2014 and 33 in 2015. We were somewhat alarmed because we're not able to explain why the increase. We can only surmise that possibly uh, people are more distracted while driving or possibly there have just been simply more bicyclists out there exercising or just riding for enjoyment. Lieutenant Thomas is asking riders to wear a helmet and bright clothing and use mirrors and lights. And for drivers, leave that space, slow down, move over slightly when you can to allow that bicyclist room to operate. Because he says the road is supposed to be shared. That's the most important thing. I mean, we don't want to do any more of these. <laughs> In Lansing and Perrette, Fox 47 News. Around 200 riders are expected to participate this year. They're riding in unison with 391 other cities around the world.